Hey guys, I'm back with uh, trailer reaction. It's been a very long time since I've done one, so for those who are interested in uh, me doing that sort of thing and have been following me and subscribing, I apologize and I appreciate your interest. Uh, apologize for how sweaty I am. It's freaking hot as shit here in Texas right now and I'm like just a greasy, sweaty mess. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna do a ghost, uh, ghost bumps, yeah, ghost bumps, because that's the thing. Goosebumps uh, 2 trailer reaction. Um, I saw the first trailer, I thought it was pretty cool. I actually really liked the first Goosebumps movie. Um, Jack Black made some really bizarre but interesting choices in how he performed in that film with, with his characterizations and I thought they worked out really well although they were kind of, you know, fucking weird but again, it worked out brilliantly in the end. And uh, what's not to love? It's, it's chock full of giant monsters and uh, it was great fun if you love Halloween and that sort of thing. So um, I'm looking forward to this. I don't know much about it. I don't really remember the first trailer. It was short and it was a while ago. So uh, without further to do, let's jump into this thing. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. They gotta stop with this trailer before the trailer shit. Hey kids! Wow, <laughs> you've got quite a spread here. Is it too much? I love Ken John. Stand down, Greg. Oh, it's got the the kid that played Ben from It. A mysterious disturbance recently took place in the town of Madison, Delaware. Creatures come alive. I love that praying mantis. That was a original manuscripts are really nice effect. The book. What book? It's a goosebumps book. It's locked. Oh man. Here we go. What did you do? It's time. I to love that. Last <laughs> wow. Oh, it's Halloween porn, man. Look out! Let me get the strength. Living a goosebumps story right oh, now. Oh, I love it. I wow. Real Halloween is alive. I know. It's my favorite holiday, too. <laughs> You're going to need some serious therapy after this. That book is the only thing we have to end this. Let's go. Oh, I love that. Yes. I'm going to win a costume contest. <laughs> That's a good life. Haunted Halloween. Oh, they're just gummy bears. Ah! Coming soon. Okay, tonally, it's obvious that they've changed it up quite a bit. Um, the first one was obviously for kids and families, but this one looks more so. This has a little bit more of a directed to uh, DVD sort of feel to it, which is not a bad thing. I'd rather get a sequel to this than no sequel, but it's clear that it's a little more simplistic and a little campy. Uh, in a little lower budget, but that's fine. Um, I like the cast. Uh, Ken Jong is is fucking great. Um, the kid that was played Ben, I forget his name, but and yet he was he did a great job. So he's a welcome addition, of course. I don't recognize really anybody else in it, um, but it looks like it's gonna be like a really fun kind of popcorn family-ish sort of uh, sequel, which is fine. Um, nothing wrong with that for, because you know. That lends it. This whole universe lends itself perfectly to that. Anyway, it doesn't need. It doesn't need to be a dark and gritty dark night like Goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is. This will do just fine. Uh, I really like the effects in it. I love. They're going all in with the lighting and the vibe of Halloween and the 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 epically decorated yards and the decorations coming to to life. I I, uh, I love the headless horseman effect. That was awesome. And uh, I think maybe my favorite uh, idea that they executed in there was um, the idea of the monsters coming to life off the sort of Halloween mask rack. So they almost look like plastic masks uh, in the bodies, look almost plastic-like coming to life. I thought that was really cool. Um, I grew up in the 80s when I was a kid. The Halloween costumes that you would get would be in a box or they'd be like rubber masks hanging on a hook. And it was always a big deal uh, you know, to go pick out your costume that year or your mask. And I still remember the way those boxes smelled. It was either Collegeville or Ben Cooper. And they had a very particular smell and a very particular sound. When you touched like the plastic and you, you know, you'd look at, oh, there's Han Solo or Darth Vader and you'd be like, ooh, and you look at the plastic or whatever, touch it with your finger and it'd crinkle a certain way. 
and uh, just that old school Halloween vibe is is a big uh, a big favorite thing of mine. So um, yeah, I think this looks I think it looks fun. It's not gonna set any box office records, and it's not Shakespeare, but I think it's uh, I think it looks like a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and um, I'm gonna try to do probably around two reactions a week. I am not the type of person that's gonna do stuff just to get subs. I'm not gonna do try not to laugh or any of that bullshit. That's fine if people like that. I watch that stuff, but for me, I don't have the time, and I just think that's kind of a lazy way to do it. Um, no offense to anybody. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to pick like one or two reactions a week and make sure that they're good and they're really interesting. And uh, the rest of my stuff will be like um, music stuff or impressions or commentary or reviews. Um, hopefully that's up your alley and thanks for watching. Bye.